Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, we're going to talk about a security feature that's rolling out. It's meant uh, mostly for the most modern PCs right now, but eventually as the um, PC devices actually get um, newer and newer as time goes by. One of the interesting features rolling out is uh, now all Chromium supported, well, all, all Chromium browsers basically. So. If you're using Google Chrome, of course, it is based on Chromium. If you're using Microsoft Edge, and if you have a Intel uh, 11th generation or later, something, uh, first of all, Windows already uses this if you have a supported processor, which is the control flow enforcement technology that Intel is introducing. What is that and why is it important? Well, because what's happening with, uh, and so Microsoft Edge also uh, will have it, like I said, Chromium-based browsers. Um, there is one part of Windows that does have that and it actually protects. Once again, you need to have some of the latest technologies though, which is maybe the only negative side to this. Um, when you go on a website, one of the biggest problems is that uh, there's something called um, return-oriented programming and jump-oriented programming. What that refers to is the fact that uh, in the course of running, a program can change its, um, you know, its code can go to some other code, jump to some other uh, process to work. The problem is, is that functionality of being able to jump to another code makes also for possible attacks by using that reference. And these are impossible pretty much to detect. And, you know, no antivirus is going to see this going. It's uh, once again, you know, when I say that antivirus, you got to, you don't have, you know, it's not important to rely on an antivirus because that's not what's protecting you. These are types of attacks and of changes that antivirus just don't de detect and don't see because they're kind of part of the uh, of the system. But the uh, newer processors of Intel actually has the possibility to block that change. So it can actually analyze and see if that change, where it comes from, if, if it's created by the software itself or not, and block that possibility, making malware that use this capability a little more of a difficult task. So this is kind of cool when you think about it. And, you know, more and more in the future, I think we will see that um, we have this these new technologies that are much more hardware-based than software-based because that's the way it's going to be safer. Um, for a long time, too much uh, software-based uh, devices or, or, or uh, too much software basically was relied on and software can easily be modified where hardware hardware is not modifiable it does what it has to do uh, so that's kind of an interesting new uh, protection um, so if you have Intel 11th generation or AMD uh, Zen 3 Ryzen CPUs or later they actually support, both of them support that hardware enforced uh, protection. And it is used in Windows also uh, in what is called the hardware enforced stack protection. And this uh, enables, of course, that support in Windows. So not only is um, the, you know, are the browsers going to have that protection, but Windows itself also implements uh, that protection within its operating system, which is kind of cool. So, you know, that's the future of, of, of security. Much more hardware-based security than it is software-based or, you know, antivirus-based and so on. Um, and as malware gets even more and more um, popular, I mean, you know, it's, it's, there's like more malware than ever. Uh, it's important to have all sorts of mitigation that can be used to actually help out and uh, re reduce the risk for users in enterprise. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.